For some travelers, the perfect beach trip consists of white sand and blue waters. For others, a family-friendly atmosphere defines a beach's excellence. In truth, there isn't one ideal strip of sand that would suit everyone. Here is a list of the 10 best beaches in the world, showcases what makes a beach stand out, ambience, accessibility, affordability and approval among experts and travelers. 1. Grace Bay, Turks and Caicos. Best time to go, year-round. Located in an eastern crook of Providenciales, Grace Bay has 12 miles of soft ashen sand and open crystalline water to placate sunbathers. The entire beach is consistently excellent, with clean water, white sand and no rocks, seaweed or pollution. The Barrier Reef found a mile out products Grace Bay from the ocean swells of the Atlantic. Nearly all of the main resorts on Providenciales are found on this coast, and much of the water sport activity occurs in the area. There's little shade, so come early in the morning to get your choice of umbrellas. 2. Baia do Sanco, Brazil. Best time to go, year-round. The beach lies on a secluded bay on the main island of UNESCO protected archipelago Fernando de Noronha, off the coast of Recife. The beach is protected and surrounded by native vegetation and high-rising cliffs, which makes the perfect nesting ground for birds. The sand on Baia do Sanco is white and the water is emerald green. If you happen to take the boat, you just need to stop for a quick swim. Sonco is also described as one of the best diving spots in Brazil and visitors can enjoy a great marine fauna and flora. It is best visited via boat, which will stop right in front of the bay to not destroy the corals underneath, or via a narrow staircase, which leads down the cliffs that tower around the bay. 3. Playa Paraiso, Cuba Best time to go, year-round. One of the best beaches in Cuba, Playa Paraiso Beach is a gorgeous stretch of white sand that is set along the clear waters of the Caribbean Sea. You won't find any hotels on the sand, only small snack bars and a modest nautical center. Playa Paraiso is sheltered and usually have calm water, and visitors who are interested can enjoy such non-motorized water sport activities as windsurfing and sailing. 4. Ants Lazio, Seychelles. Best time to go, year-round. Cradled by a large bay with two mountain peaks on each side, adorned by white powder-fine sand and caressed by calm turquoise water, the half-kilometer-long beach of Ants Lazio located on the northwest coast of the second most populated island of Seychelles. The beach is bordered by large granite boulders. The incredible mix of turquoise water, golden sand, lofty palm trees and imposing boulder formations make it one of the most beautiful beaches in the world, perfect for photos, sunbathing, swimming, and snorkeling. In fact, it's this range of activities that makes the beach especially appealing for the Seychelles holidaymaker, as the beach offers something for everyone. 5. Cao de Agua, Venezuela Best time to go, year-round. With perfect clear blue water, perfect white sand, Cao de Agua is one of the most beautiful beaches in the world, the water is not cold like other beaches and is so crystal. Here you can windsurf if you have the equipment and snorkel. It takes around an hour ride in a small boat from Gran Roque to Cao de Agua, looking incredible beaches all over the ride. Cao de Agua is a beautiful place that you have to visit, at least once in a lifetime. 6. Flamenco Beach, Puerto Rico. Best time to go, year-round. Flamenco Beach is a public beach on the Caribbean island of Culebra. It is known for its shallow turquoise waters, white sand, swimming areas, and diving sites. It stretches for a mile around a sheltered, horseshoe-shaped bay. Flamenco Beach feels really big, yet provides many intimate spots, perfect for lovebirds. Safe waters for swimming and snorkeling beginners, kid-friendly food, bathrooms, outdoor showers, easy beach access and an ambience that allows families to reconnect. Camping is allowed at Flamenco Beach. You will need to bring your own equipment. Tents and other gear are available for rental on the island. You will need to register and pay for a permit.
7. Playa de Cazilets, Balearic Islands. Best time to go, year-round. 4 kilometers from La Savina, it located on the headland de Tracaders. There is a disabled ramp for access to the beach in the area. From its coast you can see the small island, which also protect the beach. The Posidonia meadow under its water has been declared human heritage by the UNESCO. This fact together with its crystal clear water explains that it is very popular amongst divers from all over the world who come to this privileged place. This beautiful virgin and wonderful beach is characterized by the fact of not being very big, it has fine-grained white sand, very gentle slope and the orientation is toward west. 8. Gapali Beach, Myanmar. Best time to go, November, March. Gapali is Myanmar's premier beach destination. Located on the Bay of Bengal coast in Rakhine State, its main feature is an idyllic stretch of white sand and palm tree lined coast, with a number of resorts spread out next to traditional fishing villages. Gapali is about relaxing and enjoying the sun, but other activities include taking trips on local fishing boats, kayaking, snorkeling or scuba diving amongst the brightly colored fish, and cycling or motor or biking down the beach and around some of the local villages. On boat tours you can ask to go to the fishing villages, islands just off the coast, go snorkeling, or visit a large hilltop Buddha at the far end of the bay to the south of Ngapali, which offers panoramic views over the bay and out to sea. If you're feeling adventurous, you can also reach the Buddha by bicycle or motorbike. 9. West Bay Beach, Honduras. Best time to go, February, August. West Bay Beach is paralleled by the world's second longest barrier reef and is surrounded by beautiful, tropical coral reef beaches. It is a mile of shimmering white sand, palm trees and clear turquoise waters. Its waters are calm and ideal for swimming and snorkeling. At one end of the bay the coral reef comes to within a few yards of the shore and is excellent for snorkeling among the vibrant marine life and brilliant tropical fish. Snorkeling in West Bay can be difficult if you are not a good snorkeler. You may find the best snorkeling in approximately 25 to 30 feet of water just on the other side of the shallow coral heads and formations. Be careful not to touch the coral as you find your way to the deeper water where you will find a good variety of sea life. 10. Nagfan Beach, Philippines. Best time to go, December, March. Nagfan Beach is said to be the most beautiful beach around El Nido town. With Calatang Beach, they are known as El Nido's twin beaches. You can discover Nagfan Beach by renting a motorbike or hiring a tricycle. It will take you from 45 minutes to 1 hour to get there. As the road is a bit long, the first thing you'll probably want to do is just to chill out and relax on this 4 kilometers long beach. Don't forget to take your swimming suit, since you'll probably want to have some fun in the water, there can be pretty big waves in that spot. That being said, it's not advised to go afar the shore as there can be some strong currents. You can also walk a bit and go see Kalatang Beach, which form the twin beaches with Nakfan Beach. In any case, the trip to Nakfan Beach is not the easiest when due to the condition of the road. Thanks for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe for more.